Hey, just a quick video to show you. I'm working on this homemade heat exchanger. This one's just going to be the quarter inch copper, and I got it coiled up in a tight spiral all the way down from end to end. That's probably 14 or 15 inches total. Quick shot down the tube. So, all I did was wrap it around this pipe and jam it in there. There's the pipe I used, just one and a half inch PVC. Then we just dropped the tubing in some warm water, pumped the air through, put a fan at the end, and hot air will come out. Totally easy to make, just quarter inch copper, 40 foot coiled up inside the steel tube. And then I'm going to show it to you with the three different types of fans. Two and a half amp, 12 volt boat blower fan. That's like over 43 miles an hour, top speed. I'll show that to you at low and high speed. Then a small de desk fan, that's AC. And even a 12 volt DC, little lighted 80 millimeter computer case fan. I'll also show you to you with the AC and the DC pumps. And it's pretty cool. Now here's the starting temp. So the 72 degree Fahrenheit air is going in. And we're getting, I think, 95. About 35 Celsius. Roughly 95 Fahrenheit. So it's going up from 72 to 95. And that's just pumping some warm water through, through the tap. The water in there is about 110. So not bad. Next thing I'm going to do is heat the water with a 12 volt 100 watt, what they call a cartridge heater. I've heard those things are excellent and it can actually get the water to boiling. But even if it doesn't boil, we can get it to like 150 or something like that. This thing will crank out the heat like crazy. It'll be awesome. Quick shot of the cartridge heater. Check this out. I'll just drip some water on it and watch this. I hooked that up to the 100 watt solar panel. Within 10 seconds, you couldn't even touch it, kind of near the end. It was almost too hot to touch. In literally like 10, 15 seconds at max. The bulb of the thermometer is right in the middle, so it's not touching the copper. It'll, it'll be a perfect shot on the air. All right, let's fire it up. That's the starter temp. Here's the air temp, about 85. Went up 10 degrees. That's with a pretty strong airflow, though. We can slow that down a little. Here's a shot of it running on low speed. Whoa, that's hot. Nice warm air. It's working great. So it's working good. The tube fell out for a second. I gotta clean the water up. Alright, let's try one more thing. Let's do the AC version of this. So we got the small AC fan blowing air through the tube. And then we got the pump. We'll do an AC pump here too. Dang. Here we go. So now we got the pump in there, the fan, and what are we pushing like 94 degrees? 95 maybe? 94? 
93. Don't forget, you're also getting the heat off of this. The tube, super warm. So you get the air blasting out the end, plus it's just radiating heat all along here. You may want to shroud this to get all the air to go through, but not bad.